Okay guys, so welcome to week two of uh, C++ and Python introductory to programming here at the Techno Monterey. So I just got a couple things I want to talk to you, mainly about uh, blogging and how we have that set up and then also about our programming environment. Uh, that'll be your message for this week and your focus for this week. So let's talk about what's going on with the blogs right now. If, if we uh, go to the, the main site, uh, Courses by Ken here, you've got the link. You'll notice that I'm logged in. I know I'm logged in because I have this black bar at the top. If you're not logged in, you'll want to be logged in. And if you look at the bottom of the page, there's actually a meta um, menu here, which will tell you either to log out if you're already logged in or to log in. Make sure you can log into our course site. That's pretty important. Uh, you'll also notice I, I've, I've got bored and I changed the theme already. On this front page, we've got a running um, blast of people that are posting things uh, from all both courses, actually, and it's just embedded links. If you click on any one of these links, it actually goes to the author's page. So go ahead and uh, take a look at what they're doing and comment on their stuff. Uh, related to that, I want to make sure that everyone has their commenting set up on their blog. So for some of you with with known, by default, people can't comment on your blog. And I'll show you how to fix that. If you go to your with known site, there's a site configuration, not the settings. Settings is for a person. You could have multiple persons on, on the site uh, posting. You want site configuration. Go to, um, sorry, uh, plugins, which is the second menu from the left right now. And then what you want to do is make sure, most of all, that public comments is turned on so people can comment on your blog posts here. All the other stuff you can play around with and do whatever you want, but please try to turn public comments on so people can uh, comment on your stuff. One more thing I wanted to show you is, let's take a, take a look at Floreth's blog over here. For those of you that are uh, doing multiple types of blog posts, uh, whether it's for our course and then whatever else you want to do and blog about, that's awesome. I want you to blog. I want this part of why I'm doing this. Uh, just make sure that you have, if you're using a, a blog for multiple things, make sure you tag things properly. So if we look at Floreth's post here, we'll notice if we zoom in here that Floreth has actually posted this. Uh, she's putting her own tags on it. Go for it. Put whatever tags you want. But most importantly, she's consistently using this tag for our course, the, the one she's in, TC1014, so that I know that I'm only going to pull posts from this uh, category or, or tag, in, in her case because she's using Blogger. Um, talk to me if you need to have this set up so I'm not pulling all of your data. Um, so there's that. Uh, a little bit more data. Let's see, we got, uh, apparently I, we are syndicating uh, 81 blog posts right now, so, so 81 different student sites. But when I do the math, I actually have uh, 86 that have submitted, so it looks like I need to go through and check that I might be missing five here. I'll fix that. I need to make sure that I'm following you and categorizing in which course you are. If I look at the course pages, if you can get to each course page with these menus at the top, you can look at the home, uh, what are the masteries you need to work on, WSQs you need to work on, and, and your page one for your course. Same thing for the other course. If you look at this, you'll notice I try to point out what you should be working on now. This is in general for all the courses because they're pretty well uh, categorizing along just the same. Uh, tags, you can blast as many tags, but you can see what's popular. And it tells me that for this course, the Python course, we have 96 posts, awesome, uh, for this course from 39 blogs. And if I check the other one, we'll notice that we have uh, 40 blogs. So my math is wrong, something's going on, I need to go and check this. But I know there's at least, um, let's see, four people who've not submitted what their blog, GitHub, and their Twitter accounts are. So we need to get on top of that today. So there's that. The other thing I really want you to work on is your programming environment. You'll notice that for both courses, if we go in and quickly pull up the WSQs, I'll just pull it up for the Python group here. Um, if we go to WSQ1, which is set up Python for, for this group, the other one's a set up C++, obviously. Uh, one of the first WSQs I'm asking you to do is, is time for Python or time for C++. Set up your environment. I'm giving you pointers of where to do it. I'm not telling you everything to do. Some students are finding other resources, good YouTube pages on how to set up their environment. Uh, please share with each other what you're working on and how you're getting solutions and then blog about that Make sure to tag this as WSQ01 in this case and Put out any questions you have about it and uh, put that in your own blog Remember you post all your homeworks on your own blog and I'll pull them in here um, That's about it. So I'll also be doing quizzes. We'll start this week 
uh, will be you should be paying attention to masters WSQs if you're totally confused make sure you come and see me again uh, you can on the top of the page you can do up in the about section there's a contact uh, comment policy and privacy policy that you want to check out but most importantly you can check the contact um, about contact and it says how to get a hold of me in particular you can use my scheduling system which brings this up and you can reserve time with me outside of class time uh, you should really just take advantage of the class time to talk to me as much as possible but if you want to talk to me outside of class more than happy to uh, you can make an appointment 15 minutes or half hour blocks reserve time with Ken if you can't find my office I'm on the fourth floor of the Min building ES5 there's even a, a lame video here for you to check out how to find me uh, that's all I got for today have an awesome week and uh, hack away